It's been very good so far, I have to say. Yeah, obviously, uh, now we're just getting over the jet lag. Uh, it's uh, time now for uh, having a little bit of an afternoon off for the boys as well, so they can see more. We've uh, we've just been training, to be uh, to be honest, and it's. I'm not a cricket, a big cricket fan, but some of my staff and players are big cricket fans, and this is it's great to be able to train on this fantastic stadium. Uh, I've been told all about the Ian Botham 78, six for 78, and uh, so uh, they're, they're proud Englishmen that I've, uh, are talking about uh, this stadium, and uh, I've heard a lot about it. What, do you have any plans to see any of the sites here, maybe Rottnest Island? And do you know what a quokka is? Have you ever heard of a quokka? We'll, we'll definitely have time to, uh, to explore a little bit more. Cause, um, but at the moment, we're just, as I said, uh, getting over uh, the jet lag and training. And sorry for Marcus being late because the session was a little bit longer and uh, very good, by, by the way. So uh, he'll, he'll have some treatment and come back soon. Are you having a look at Optus? Say again? Will you be going to have a look at Optus? I will before the game, yes. Uh, our ground staff is there today. And um, we'll, uh, it's just outside my hotel window, so I uh, see the lights every night. It's, uh, it looks a fantastic stadium. Um, welcome back. Uh, as manager of Manchester United, I mean, there's a whole list of questions you're expecting all of them, I know. I know, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a long summer, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's plenty to talk about. Uh, yeah. I mean, Raiola had plenty to talk about last week about Paul Pogba, said that uh, the conversations have been had between him and the club. He said, Paul Pogba himself said it might be time for a new challenge. What, what's the fact of the matter from where you're sitting in terms of Paul Pogba? Well, there's been uh, loads of talks uh, and speculations, of course, about all our players, or many of our players, both ins and outs, and for me, um, it's business as usual. When you're at Man United, uh, you, you expect all these uh, things to uh, pop up in the summer. And of course, I've been in touch with uh, with Paul, spoken to Paul, spoken to Rom, spoken to uh, Rashi, Jesse. I've spoken to all the players more or less over the summer. As you do, you keep in touch with them. And um, as far as I'm aware, and up till now, we don't have any bids for our, any of our players. So there's no no reason to, to say uh, other than Paul or most of our players got long contracts. We are Man United. We don't have to sell players. So um, it's. Uh, but what I have to say though is about some of the players that Paul, for example, it looks like it's going to be a or it's a media. Don't, not, I'm, I don't want to call it a. But it's an agenda against Paul. He's, he's a top, top bloke. He's a great, great professional. He's never been any problems. He's got a heart of gold. And Jesse and, for example, Jesse and Paul yesterday walking around and it's been pro, pro, uh, portrayed as it's a fight between the two boys. And that's, I know that that's, you're here to sell, sell papers and sell stories, but that's, no, nothing, no problems between uh, the boys at all. So, and they're all professional. Pre-season been very, very good so far. Oh, there's genuinely not an agenda against Paul Pogba. But when his agent comes out and says that he wants out, and when Paul says I'm looking for a new challenge, we have to report it, and we feel it's disrespectful to the club for them to say that. Well, I'm not going to. I'm here to talk about uh, the whole team and the pre-season and the season coming. Uh, what I will say is, Paul's never uh, put himself out of the team. He's always wanted to play. He's always given his best, and I can't report anything. But but that uh, agents agents talk all uh, all the time, and uh, as. As I said, we've not had any bids from any any clubs. That's um, and that's all I can say about this matter. Then we can. After the Barcelona game, you you said that the club needed to be ruthless in terms of the work they needed to do with the squad, and big decisions would have to be made. As we sit here today, from the general group of that time, and Herrera's gone, you've brought two younger players, admittedly for a lot of money in. 
a lot of fans are saying, where's this ruthlessness? Where, where are these big decisions? Because it looks very much the same as it was before. Yeah, I can, I can see your point. And, but doing business in the football market uh, is not going to be like a quick fix overnight. And we've got players here who've, uh, who I trust. They're f- fantastic players. There's loads of players here that I know that's going to be successful at this club. And we've signed two, as you say, Dan and Aaron. Fantastic, you know, with the speed, with the hunger, with, with quality that will be part of that. And it's not like, um, well, I'm, I'm coaching them, I'm managing them here. Uh, the business side of it is that you, you just, uh, you have to be in the market. And as I said, at the moment, we don't have any offers for our players. A concern for you that, that Paul comes out and says it might be time for a new challenge and you said it towards the end of last season that players, it has to mean more to them, they need to be prepared to sacrifice themselves and he doesn't seem to be giving he's not giving that impression with what he's saying and what his agent is saying, is that, is that a concern for you? For me, he, Paul's never been a concern for me, when he's, uh, when he's on the pitch, he's working hard he's professional He's a true professional and he's, he's a proud uh, boy. Same uh, answer again. I can't be sitting here talking about Paul all the time uh, and what's, what agents are saying. Um, we've, we've got a few years left of, of his contract and um, for me, we, uh, he's been fantastic when he's come back in, in training. I know you said that agents talk, etc., but it, it can't be... It can't be helpful to you, can it, that he does come out and make this repeated claim, Mino Raiola, sort of twice in, in the space of five days? Well, I'm, I'm not just talking about Mino uh, Raiola. There's loads of agents out there, and uh, of course they've got, a, they've got clients that they're looking after, so they can look after their, uh, their clients. We've, we've got players that, and a team that I've got to look after, and we've got to manage. And for us, we know last year was disappointing. We, uh, but we know also what we have to aim for this year and the club here we, we've got a chance of of course we've got to close the gap to the, to the top teams in, in the league because we, we ended up sixth in a very competitive league but then again we've got trophies to play for and that's what Man United is about bouncing back after a disappointing season and pre-season so far has been very very encouraging um, so uh, I'm looking forward to the games when the when the real when the leagues league starts up. I'm sure we're going to have a good team, a Man United team that's going to challenge, and we're going to have players who are going to give everything for Man United. Not just Paul, Ole, but what's your stance in general on players that seemingly don't want to stay at the club in terms of how you handle that going forward? Well, as long as they're here, they're, they're professionals, they, they work, uh, and as long as they're here working, giving everything they've got, uh, agents and everyone else can talk, uh, and we've got their own talks behind the scenes. And I'm not going to tell you what we've been talking about, <laughs> as you would probably imagine. You've got two new signings here, you've got, you've got about a month left of the window. Have you got yeah. an idea of how many more you'd like before the deadline? Yeah, we do. Uh, we, we're still uh, in the market and uh, looking to do some business, uh, as, I've, as I've said before. So, uh, but we're patient and, as I said, we're Man United. We don't have to sell, but we're, we're Man United, but we don't have to overpay either. There's, you have to have the, the right players for the right uh, price. Uh, and if we... Um, if we look at the squad we've got now, there's so many good players there anyway that I'm sure uh, will, with a good pre-season behind us, that's, that's the main thing now. The ones who are here, we're working hard, they want to improve. It's not just a, uh, a fitness work, it's, it's about robustness. This squad will have to be more robust when uh, the season gets going. Last year we had a run of 10, 12, 13, 14 games, I, can't, I don't rem- remember how many without any defeats but the end the disappoint, that was disappointing because we, we couldn't get ourselves back into winning ways and that's we, we're working on that Simon well, um, if, you, if you look on Simon I expect you have this quite a bad disillusionment 
around the club uh, and everything. Can you understand that? And can you tell them something that might feel positive? You know, the, the passion uh, in our fans is fantastic. And of course, they're, uh, they want us to, uh, to be successful. They, um, the loudest ones are, the, uh, are probably not the, the greatest fans or the best fans. Uh, so, uh, and I don't really uh, get too much of it. Karen sends me once, once in a while a little, little note. But uh, for me, when, when I'm out there and speaking to fans, they're all very positive. Of course, they, they want to see us win again. And that's what we, uh, we have to say uh, that we've got to get back to winning trophies. And that's, that's our aim this season. Um, the Premier was saying that we beat off the competition from Victoria, which is great. The state definitely gets something out of your visit. Uh, commercially, you meet your fan base over here. But in terms of preparation for a new season, surely it can't be the best thing coming to the other side of the world. Well, they've, uh, I think the boys have uh, done well uh, in the sessions that we've done. Of course, uh, if you're at Carrington uh, training ground all the time, working in your uh, normal uh, environment. Sometimes that goes stale. Uh, sometimes when you go away, uh, you get new enthusiasm, energy. And for us, coming here, yeah, we know it's a long way to go. But that's part of being at Man United. We are the biggest club in the world. We, we do have supporters all around the world. And for me, it's that's just... I'm used to it. I, I played here for uh, 11 years. I'm used to that pre-season. It's going to be hard. It's going to be, as I said, about robustness. Yeah, when we come back, we might have a little bit of a jet lag, but that's, you have to get over it. That's, that's how it is in, at the top. Do you expect them to be more prolific next season? We were um, we had four players over uh, in double figures. Of course, that's that's great. We we don't rely on one to score 30, 40 goals, but of course you want our forwards. You got Anthony, Rom, Marcus, you got Alexis chipping in more. Masons, I'm, he's due a, a breakthrough. I think Dan James is going to chip in with goals, and the more players you get in double figures, great. If you can get a prolific one, if you can get someone up to 20, Marcus and Anthony, Rom, all day, they've got 20 goals in them. So um, let's see who hits form, because uh, potential is one thing. Uh, if you get into the rhythm, you, if you saw the end of last uh, session last uh, yesterday, it was Mason's bang, 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 three chances, three goals against Cardiff. He could have had five goals, he didn't score. So it's just a striker who gets into a good vein of form will score goals. OK, last question. James? James? Mason is in, uh, Mason will uh, definitely play more games uh, and he's grown over the summer. I think his confidence has grown a lot after that Cardiff game. Because he he was our best player in that game. Okay, last uh, question. Oli Williamson, David De Gea has offered an improved contract. Do you think David's close to signing a new deal here now? And just from Alexis, I know he's not coming on tour, but he got a hamstring injury in Copper America. Have you got any indication of how serious or not serious that is? I don't think Alexis's uh, injury was too bad. Uh, when he's due back. Three weeks after the last game, so just when we come back from tour here, he's due back. I, I would expect him to be fit enough to to play straight away and train straight away. Um, David has had a summer now where he's um, where he's uh, been negotiating and thinking about his contract. So we hope that we're going to get it um, sorted uh, soon. I'm I'm positive. Uh, of course, with David, I've. Uh, I've said many a time uh, how lucky I am and how happy we are to have him uh, in the goal. So we hope that we, he stays here for many years.